Okay, so creating videos is tough. But if you've got your Canon M50, there's no reason you can't do it on a regular basis. There's a system you can actually use with the Canon M50 as a webcam. And when you do this and you set it up at your desk, you're going to be able to just sit down and record video after video after video. Now in this one, I'm going to show you some keyword research you can do so you know that the video you're creating is actually the video that people want to watch. So here's how it works. First, we're going to cover the system. Now here's a system to use to basically go ahead and take your idea and be able to relay it on video without reading from a script. First, you're going to take your idea with keyword research, which I'm going to show you in a second, and you're going to script out what you want to say. You're going to just, you know, write out what you want to say. And then when you're done, you're going to go ahead and create bullet points just like this. Okay. You're going to have your bullet points and these bullet points allow you to stay focused on what you're going to say next. So then you're going to be able to just glance at your bullet points and then keep on going. And it doesn't matter if you glance your bullet points now and again. People are not going to like say, oh my God, he's looking at the screen. Who cares? Really, it's about your content and it's about how you, your energy on screen and how you're relaying what you want to say. So you've got those bullet points laid out from your script. You just go off of those bullet points and then uh, you can pull in different media. Now you So I'm going to show you some keyword research. If this is really easy, it's a little bit time consuming, but it's very effective. Here's how it works. First, we're going to go to YouTube. Then we're going to just type in a keyword. Let's say affiliate marketing. Now you'll get a lot of uh, suggested keywords on this. What you're going to be doing is an A to Z search. You're going to start with A and you're going to look at the results and you're going to copy down these results because those are the keywords you're going to might want to use. I'm going to show you in a second how you're going to decide on which ones to pursue first. But then you do B, C, D, E, and you're going to go down the list from A to Z. And you're going to get, let's, let's say you go back and you see one you, you want to do. Um, it's a affiliate marketing challenge. Okay. Now, when you have VidIQ installed, you can see, ooh, it's a 73 out of 100. That's pretty good. It means it has good volume, low competition. And so you're like, okay, let's see how many views these people are getting. Oh, pretty good views, you know, 70,000. I like that. Okay. Here's something you can do though. After you look, you can filter this by month and then by view count. And when you do this, well, you're not getting too many views. So the people who, who did videos on this actually weren't getting that many views. Let's say affiliate marketing, let's contrast that with um, Amazon, affiliate marketing, Amazon. Now you'll see these, the people here at the top results are getting huge amounts of views. On top of that, when you filter by month and then by views, they're still getting lots and lots of views. You can see that this is a little bit more of a viable keyword. Of course, you can also see it has more competition and so on. So you have to strike a balance between the two. But this is an endless way to get content ideas because basically you can go down the list for each one of these separate keyword phrases. You can basically do the um, A to Z thing all over again. And what you want to do is basically be looking for content that you could use that you could create videos around. And you go ahead and come up with 30 ideas. Okay. You can easily come up with 30 ideas off of this. And with vidIQ installed, you can see which ones you might have a chance of ranking for. And then you go ahead and do your Facebook Live. And the reason you want to do it live is because it gets you out of your head. And instead of doing retake after retake after retake, you know that there could be someone watching. Usually there's nobody watching. It actually takes a long time to get people to watch. But the fact that there could be someone watching, get your brain to keep on talking and use your bullet points to stay on track. And then it becomes more fresh. It's much more engaging to watch someone you know that's in front of somebody else and talking with someone than it is to just watch someone talking to a camera. The difference is in the dynamics. So by tricking your brain and going uh, live with your Canon M50, with the Ecamm Live, do this for at least 100. 100 of them. I know it, it's that secret tipping point that a lot of people talk about, that 100 mark. And when you get past 100, or even 90, then you've actually gone through and developed a skill. And the way you intentionally develop the skill is after each live, you look 
and you see one thing you want to improve, and then you improve it next time, and one thing that you really think you did well, and you go ahead and amplify that next time. So by doing this through iteration and not seeing perfection in every video that you create, but you iterate towards that perfection, you're going to have more engaging videos, your audience is going to be more engaged with you, and you're going to feel better about it. You're not going to be sitting there doing endless takes and be sweating it out with the perfect script. You're going to say what you want to say, and you're going to mean it, and your audience is going to see that. It's much more than just a script when you're working with video. Use different media and make it much more visually interesting. All you need to do is connect your Canon M50 via USB. You can either install the utility that Canon just actually introduced, or you get Ecamm Live. I highly recommend getting Ecamm Live. Just ditch Netflix for a couple months and learn how to use their system, and you'll get better at video. And when you do this and get better at engaging, creating engaging video, just use it for a couple months. And then when you're done, you can go back to Netflix. But I'm telling you, Ecamm Live just makes it a lot easier to go through and create videos on a real basis. I'm going to show you a couple different ways this works. So Ecamm Live is really cool. First, let me show you what I mean. This is Ecamm Live, okay? And it works great because you can have different scenes so you can switch between, okay? And you can have different overlays with text and images, and you can switch to uh, sharing your screen. And so the important part is just setting up your desk so that you can sit down and record. You've got your, your Canon M50. It's hooked up to your computer. And all you need is a light. You'll see I've got a light here. Okay. It's a very, very simple light. A tripod. And what's cool about this light is it's adjustable. I can adjust, um, you know, how much light I'm getting. You'll see. You can get myself quite washed out. Um, no big deal. It depends on what kind of look you're going for. You can do that. You can adjust it down a little bit. You can put some gels on there, whatever. All you need really, though, is one light. And again, it depends on what you've got your camera set at. I've got an auto right now. You can play around with all that, but you don't have to. You can set it up in auto mode. And really, here, here it is without the light. <laughs> Not really, you know, as recommended. But, it, you know, you don't need much. This is one light. And actually, my computer is giving me a little bit of light, too. So having that one light is all you really need. Now, for audio, you can just get a Blue Yeti mic. And this works really well. Set that up on, on a stand. Get a pop filter. These don't cost that much. And once you've got that set up, then all you need to do is sit down and start recording. So go ahead and take your Canon M50. Make it dead easy to sit down and do a video. Do your keyword research. Do 30 to 90 videos and just keep iterating towards a better video. Now, there are other keys to this, but this is the first part, getting yourself to create videos. Even if you're a little bit self-conscious on camera, this system works great for getting through that barrier. So that's how to set it up. If you've got a video you've created in this way, I would love to see it. Uh, let me know in the comments. If this helped you, go ahead and give this a thumbs up. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.